Welcome back, my friends. I'm at zero tolerance today. There's so much to this story that I'm excited about. Standing in front of this YCM machine and mold making being the subject today. And when we think of mold making, making the tolerances that are required in that world. And if you think of the name itself, zero tolerance, you know exactly what that means. Steve is already pretty famous on the social media world as well as the company Forefront because they are a successful company that's been around for over a decade now and continue to expand some of the greatest technology with YCM being one of their latest purchases and we get to talk about why and how it's helped as well. Steve, first of all, Zero Tolerance, great name and thank you for having us in to share this story and let's talk about the conception of Zero Tolerance, I believe in 2011, is that correct? Ah, let's go back a little further. Let's go back to 2002. Uh, that was the year we got married. <clears throat> and literally that's the reason for the name. My wife's like, I got zero tolerance for you. <laughs> so she came up with the name. I didn't want to start a company. Uh, all my former bosses were divorced. And I'm like, I don't want to be divorced. I'm not doing that. And she's like, well, what if I'm on board? And I'm like, never thought about that. It's one good thing. And then she's like, we'll call it zero tolerance. You're always trying to make it perfect. And I'm like. That's a really good name. So that's where it came from. 2011, we started our shop in Kansas. We had three kids, and I was working in two jobs. And she's like, if we're going to do this, i got to have some support. Let's move home back to Michigan. So that's where the company started. Okay, I got it. Now we're on board with everything. And you've kind of already told me who the boss is, haven't you? Saying it without saying it? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, she is a genius. That's right. She's my wife, and she's done uh, amazing with the company. Um, finances seeing all the things I don't see, we just have a really good compliment um, to each other. And yes, we do have some fights, but we, they always end in a hug, so we're good. Well, then hopefully this one will end in a hug as no, well. No. All right, so YCM, it's a new investment. It's a five axis machine. I know a lot about this shop and, and this size of, of about 10,000 square feet. You have it almost floor to ceiling machines around here. So I know if you're gonna invest in something new, it must be for a significant reason. So why YCM and what has it done for you? Um, I was looking for a machine that could do a lot. I'm looking, we spent a lot of time drilling water line holes, squaring blocks, um, a lot of grinding, a lot of stuff that as you build molds, you gotta make it just right perfect. So my thought was I'd love to have five axis, um, and have it do as much as possible in a small footprint, the least amount of setups, and uh, the most productive it can be. And what I came across was something I didn't need. I didn't need a 40,000 RPM spindle that can hit, you know, a micron finish. I needed something that could drill water lines, square my blocks, and do a fine finish cut within a half thou, even less than a half thou, and give us the quality we needed for the work we're doing. And this had the tool capacity, the RPM, the travel that fit the envelope of work that we have in the shop and that we were going after because I'm looking to grow. And the only way to grow in this building is to have a more capable machine um, with really good people. Um, and that's one of, the, one of the industries I believe is mold making has been probably the most outsourced because it's expensive. It takes talented people and I have some of the best people here um, in the shop, better than me. Um, I don't like to admit it, but I got some really good guys. Well, let me just say, first of all, that's the sign of a good manager or a good boss when we can surround ourselves with people we know are equally or more so brilliant than ourselves. I want to dive in. We're going to get into some of the other aspects of taking multiple operations and moving it into one machine because you do pretty much have maxed out your space here. And we're going to get into that in just a minute, but you've already touched on the precision and accuracy because you are in mold and the fact that you didn't need it for this really, really, you know, sub micron type tolerance. But let's talk about the precision because, I mean, let's be honest with each other out there, guys. Let's be honest here, you and me, Steve, as well. The stereotypes of Taiwanese manufacturing are that it cannot cut the harder materials, some of those super alloys. It's going to bust the spindle. It's great in aluminum. And if you want to do some roughing in aluminum, fantastic. Maybe it won't step up to the tolerances necessary for a mold making world, as you already said, outsource a ton of it out of the U.S. because it's expensive to do and it's tough to find talent to do it. Incorporating all of that and focused on the uh, aspect of precision, has this YCM lived up to what you hoped it would do? I'll tell you what, Tony, I put this thing through the ringer because as a mold maker we're stubborn and we don't trust the machines until they prove it over and over and over. 
So in the beginning, we had some troubles learning the machine and trying to get it to repeat and figuring out our fixtures. So I had some of the tests that I had to do, and I had a really good guy that was doing the um, he was doing the the programming for the five axis. And what I ended up finding out is. I didn't trust what he was doing. <laughs> so he literally ran a program at night and I came in in the morning real early and I, I, I literally indicated the thing in. I'm like, I gotta see on all four sides and on the top side, is that sucker true to the corner locks and true to the outside of the block? So I'm, I'm literally indicating it myself. And when I left, that, when I was done indicating, I was like, oh my gosh, it's not out more than two and a half tenths anywhere Ooh. on all, all six, all five sides that I could measure. So. Honestly, I was I was impressed at that point. Um, whether you have the right the right tooling in there, or or the t the cutter wear, and, and that comes down to an experienced programmer or someone that knows the tooling life. And we're learning this, right? So we're I, I am not the expert, but I, I can tell you I I know when something's nice and it works. Um, and that's what we want to deliver to our customers is something that's nice. So one of the finishes that came off this machine, our customer liked it so much they stopped us from doing the diamond polishing they said let's leave that finish in there because it made the parts look good so wow that's a big compliment to YCM uh, as well as my programmer and, and the tooling that we use so hopefully I answered your question you did I yeah over the over the top of it but I, I I was hesitant to believe that this could do what I needed for the price point and, and the footprint but the budget was right it seemed like a smart decision and and Keith at um, uh, YCM he was like this will do what you need, and if it doesn't, we'll make it. We'll make it right. That definitely answers the question. Also, zero tolerance. You've nailed that as well. And going back to the name of the company and what you expect from the machines, I want to get now a little bit into being able to do flexibility and multitasking, right? Because yeah. as I look around, we've already mentioned this a couple of times to segue us to this point. You do have a shop floor that's full of machines and you are going to only invest in a machine if it offers you more, right? That's right. And the most of the world, I would make the discussion with everyone out there right now that a five axis machine wouldn't usually be considered an auto, an automated setup, right? We, we want pallet changers, we want bar feeds, we want robots and cobots, but in the world of what you're doing with five axis machining and mold making, and a lot of these projects being more than Five minutes or 10 minutes right they're lasting hours if not days at yeah. this point this becomes because of its flexibility and five axis adaptability allows it to almost be like an automated machine do you kind of see it that way I would argue that it is automation okay it, absolutely you, you're putting in a block one time and you're cutting five sides of that block without touching it with your hand that's automation <laughs> right right I, I've done it myself I'm sticking a block here I flip it over six four or five times I got to stick it on the bridge port because my machine doesn't have enough travel to put a horn pin hole in. So I have done all of that, and what it can do by itself, if programmed properly, is a life. It's game changing for for a mold shop for someone, um, and in my size as we're growing. So to me, it's been a really huge advantage. And and in looking at that, this machine makes me see other machines in a different light. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, the the lights turned on. Like Keith told me this would happen too. Like you'll understand that you can take out two machines and replace two or three machines and possibly replace it with one machine that can do more and run longer. So some of our programs do run long. Like this particular block, I think ran for 22 hours on a finish pass. Um, some of the other hard tools will run 18 hours, 16 hours. So a huge pallet changer may not be necessary, but one that can hold five, six, 10, Parts would be really beneficial overnight weekends. I think for me, you've actually opened my eyes as well because I think of a five axis and, and we hear that. We, I do these interviews a lot, Steve, and I, I personally know for a fact the frustration that can come with setting up op 10, 20, 30 on three different machines and making sure that with tolerances, zero tolerance, with tolerances you require, how difficult it is to set everything back in from machine to machine. So in that world, in that thought process, you are right. Just having a five axis, even without the pallet change, is automation in that world. I absolutely love that description. As we start to bring this thing to a close, before hopefully I get this hug from you, uh, <laughs> Just like you uh, mentioned earlier, is there anything you'd like to say about the machine or the relationship, I think, with YCM Alliance, your relationship with Keith and Tony? I know they're friends of yours as well. Service and support is such a big deal in our industry, especially when we're trying out something new like this. Can we talk about that a little bit as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
that's the one thing you don't real, real you don't really realize is how important someone is that is just selling you a machine because you think of them as a salesman. Well, traveling with them before, I realized they they've seen all these other shops and they've walked into your shop. They walk into a shop that's. 20 times bigger than yours, and they have seen things that you wouldn't even have even thought of. And they're bringing all that value to you, and it's hard to really understand that until you sit down and talk to them um, over dinner or something like that. So they, they really they really want to help us move forward, and they, and they really have. They've given us an opportunity with the machine um, to talk with you guys and, and to, to see us find opportunities, and they're truly looking to do that. But the knowledge that they bring is, is good knowledge. You might not believe a salesman, but you would believe someone like me that like me that's like doing it on the machine. I can show, I can show you. I can do that. So um, that part of it's been really interesting to me because as a mold maker, we're stubborn and we don't <laughs> want to trust a salesman. We want to believe it ourselves and find out for ourselves. And I think Tony and Keith have both allowed me to do that. To where here try this machine I believe it'll work for you and they, they've really stuck behind it they get the people in here when I have a problem we've really had few problems but when there was a couple they were like yeah we'll help you well, we want this to work out Steve so, that I couldn't have asked for a better response even if we had scripted it out which none of this is scripted no, but I, but you're right and I think we all make that joke right is uh, the salesman he's just gonna sell me a machine and maybe I need it and maybe I don't but you're so right the correct people that are our friends out there, these Keiths and these Tonys that are out there, they've seen the shops. They have the wisdom. They've been doing this for so long. And they're here when they're our friends to help us exactly as you said, Steve. I mean, really a brilliant explanation. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Steve, my friend, do I get that hug? Absolutely. Hey, all right. We did earn the hug today. Thank you all for watching. This is YCM. High precision. Can cut those super alloys when necessary, even with those tolerance and cycle times that come with zero tolerance and huge cycle times, as we might add, to make sure that you get the finished product that you're looking for. If you're looking to learn more about this YCM, look up our friends at YCM Alliance today. I'm sure that they'll be happy to bring that wisdom and knowledge to your shop as well.